Center, and this is the Bog Spur Trail. I haven't tried this trail, didn't even know it was here. I've hiked most of the trails here, but decided to give this one a try this morning. It goes down by the fish lab, so you might, I think there's some neat stuff down there to see. That's where we're heading that way. I parked at the uh, Chicago Bog Trail entry. You gotta hike up the road a little bit to get to this trail just up over the hill, about 100 yards or so, to the trailhead. It's a pretty cool trail so far. I don't know. I don't think they maintain uh, these trails further out as well. There's some of the ones around the center, the nature center. It's a little more rugged. Pretty cool, I kind of like that. You see a very narrow pathway. So that's the end of the Bog Spur Trail. It's a short little trail. And I'm gonna keep heading straight onto the Mill Pond Trail. Avoid the skeeters. They're out this morning. I'll try not to get too lost here. I've never done these sections before, so. this morning. Still getting lots of rain here. Almost heading into June now. I imagine the trail will be a little muddy in spots. We shall see. So this is the Fen Connector Bridge, constructed by Eagle Scout Nicholas Gratham, uh, built in 2011 with the help of Home Depot. Take a look at it. So we're on the Fenway Trail now. Just walking through fern heaven here. There's ferns everywhere. This Fenway's been one of the neater trails I've walked here. Right straight through the woods. Lots of roots on the trail. Just gotta watch your step. Look at all these. As far as the eye can see. So we come to another Y here. 
I know I don't want to go this way because I want to loop back around on Fenway. So I'm going to head down this way. Hopefully it'll loop back around. This is the direction I want to head towards anyways. So, and we are now on Hermit's Way. And I believe this will take me down towards the fish lab, which is where I want to go. I don't, once again, hopefully I don't get lost here. But with all the signs and the trails all well marked, it's easy, easy to find your way back if you do get lost out here. Looks like another bridge coming up. Put you back on when I get there. So this is a really cool spot. If you were allowed to camp in here, this is where my campsite would be. Somewhere in here amongst the trees, a flat spot without too many rocks. Or a hammock, maybe. In there. Now, let's get up on the bridge for a better look at the stream here. very relaxing night's sleep you could get here for sure the sound of the stream back there is the way we headed in I do want to head down this stream, so I'm hoping that's where the trail takes me. This bridge is really cool. Take a look back across and then we'll keep going. So that cool little leafy trail that I just took just takes you out to a meadow. Still a neat little side trail, but I'm gonna stick on to Hermit's Way. And I knew I'd make some mistakes along the way here. It wasn't really a mistake, but once you got out to that meadow, I think you could head back in this direction. I didn't wanna want I didn't want to walk through the wet grass, so Hiked back to this spot and we'll keep on uh, Hermit's Way here. Just walking up top of the ridge right now. It's pretty cool. Bank over on that side. And a bank over on this side. But I'm glad I didn't take that metal because it did start to, did start to rain there for a little bit. But I didn't feel a drop here in the woods. I could just hear it hitting the leaves and stuff. 
this is a cool little section along the ridge here. Very rocky trail. Looks like we head around the corner here, then loop back around. So I'll see you then. So just off the trail here, I saw something in the woods. I wondered what it was. <clears throat> Looks like spare bridges that they might have wanted to use at one time. Huh. <clears throat> All right, back to the trail. So those spare pieces might have been for this section. In case one of these were to rot away or break down. This is cool. Opens up into a nice view. On both sides actually. into the woods. So it looks like we have found an end to Hermit's Way, finally, or maybe not. This might be a part of it here. Because the sign says we're still on it. So I'm not sure which way I'm going to go yet. <laughs> I'll figure it out. So we're still on Hermit's Way. I'm going to go straight. But on the way back, see where I can hook back up with Fenway. Again, so that'll be a much shorter way back. I think I'm back on the right track now. To where I wanted to head towards earlier. Hopefully, anyways. Anybody that knows mushrooms can tell me what kind of mushroom that was. But if I know one thing, I'm not going to take a bite of it. So, my hopes are rising that I'm back on the right way here. So I do see the creek down this way. But still on Hermit's Way, so. If you don't take any shortcuts like Fenway or whatever, this is a pretty challenging trail challenging than I thought it goes into a lot of uh, weedy areas and my pants got soaked <laughs> in my boots anyways see you further up
so you do have to walk on the lawn of the fish lab a little bit to get back on the trail. There's a neat little waterfall there. So I'm just hiding behind this tree because I want to show you all something really cool. You can probably hear it already. But what in the hell is this? Got it all screened in. Got a roof on it. My initial thoughts are this is the air rate water for the fish. And being that this is a, a fish lab where they grow fish, that's my initial guess. If anyone knows what the heck it is, you can let me know. But that's my guess. All right, now I got to figure out where I'm going here. <laughs> so this little dam here. Then straight into that other thing I just showed you. So they're linked somehow. So this pond must feed that. Uh, I keep getting distracted. I'm trying to find my way back. <laughs> Seeing a lot of neat stuff. That's pretty cool. So that pond view trail, just like its name, took you around the pond. Now we're back at that dam. So if you wanted to, you could, could have just went straight right there. And then headed up here. Then we're going to take this high ridge trail. So if you don't want to go around the pond, take a little shortcut, you can do that. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try and get momentum on this little downhill to make it up the uphill. actually kind of work. The only problem is... Oh, okay. I thought that tree was going to be in my way. So I dropped down off of High Ridge Trail. I'm going to head this way. Took a right. thing I want to try and find so I just looked at another map on the tree I'm thinking it's this way I hope so this is my last stop it took me a while but I found the old mill I'm on the mill pond, mill pond trail which makes sense where it would be This is just a gorgeous spot. You can see where the old mill was. It's got my camera in hand, so it's probably shaky. But my battery's running out, so I'll have to end this video here, but this is, was my last stop. I had mine anyways. You can see the natural springs coming out of there. This 
See if we can get a wide angle of all of it. This this mill pond trail goes up over there around the old mill and then up the hill here and it'll take me right to Boxburg which is the trail I started on, so I'm not too far away from the Jeep either, so it worked out good. So thanks for coming along. Uh, took some trails I wasn't expecting, some trails I was expecting. Just kind of found my way around and got to all the uh, different places I wanted to go, so it worked out good. Video might be a little long, but anyways, see you on the next one.